Hey everybody, Dylan here, and welcome back to Pixel Pals. Let's play Pyre. Uh, last time we met Sandra and her immortals, who are trapped within this orb and can help us get better and become more powerful uh, by doing these scribe trials. So we go and do it. Indeed, it looks as though one of those failures of yours is ready for a lesson in pain. Who is going to brave one of the trials? Um... Oh, he's probably eligible because he hasn't hit level 2 yet. I don't know. Let's do it. You ask Sandra to administer one of her special trials for Ruki. What? The loud-mouthed cur? Well, I suppose that he is ready, technically, though I have a litany of reservations about him. But let us bring him forth. Soon, Ruki appears in heat of the summons. Uh, sister, why are you looking at me like that? Whoa, 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 whoa. I still don't know why it somehow thinks I'm a lady, and I'm not upset about it, but, like, I am very sure I picked being a dude. I mean, it's it's whatever. It really is not a huge deal at all. All right, what's the big idea, huh? The same kind of trick you're playing, sister? The apparition Sandra then appears and unfastens her mask. Shut your snout and listen well, Kerr. You answer to me here. Huh? What? Your mouth runs quicker than those stubby little paws. You have much to learn if you have any intent to prevail in the lights and the rights. Let us see how you fare without the benefit of your trusted comrades, save for your lovely reader. Uh, I guess it's you and me then, huh, sister? Ooh, wherever you are. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay, so this is how we're going to do it. Oh, fuck. Uh, no! Oh, man. Oh, my God. Woo! This got hard all of a sudden. All right. Let's do this. Oh. Why can't I move? Okay. All right. So I just need to click. Uh, yeah, got him. Okay. I only need to do that three more times, right? Mine's faster. What? Oh, shit. That's a barrier. Got him. Okay. So I guess this is just like teaching us how to take advantage of certain like gameplay elements that are specific to more nimble type characters. Like Ruki. Oh, fuck. Ruined. Oh. God. It hurts. Alright. This is good though, because now we're seeing what like game actually plays like when there's a challenge involved. Yeah! This is actually way more fun than just time to crush it, like I was doing before. Nope. Nope. Uh, we're gonna go for it. Got him! Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I do still have an aura. I gotta remember that I do have my personal aura when I don't have the ball. Oh, got me. Fucking stone cold got me. Okay. Let's do a quick cast. Ooh. This is rough stuff. Oh, the respawn, though. Nice. Knocked out two of them. Knocked out everyone. Freebie. Sometimes you just gotta leave a path of blood in your wake. Yeah, we did it! Go Ruki! You did it! We did it! I did it! We did it! Ruki wins! That is how we do it, right, sister? It is. And you acknowledge, likewise, that you did not do it on your own, despite having to face my demon friends all by yourself. You passed my test, Kerr. Congratulations are in order, both to you and to your lovely reader. Now, farewell. Cool. That was actually kind of rad. Okay. Move is single mind, so... Okay, so unity is like an important theme. I think we already kind of picked that up. What do I get? Oh, that, that Sandra kind of gives me the shakes. Know what I mean, sister? Hey. Oh, what's that you got? Rumi wears... Whoa! Whoa! Damn! 
That's really, really strong. Triple the amount of time that his fucking aura stays out when he uses it? Fuck yeah. And it's Rookie specific, right? It's only for Rookie. That's awesome. Is there another one? Uh, nope. And, uh... Okay, cool. Alright, so... That little interlude having been completed, I do suppose that it is time for us to move on. Continue our journey. You find everyone is feeling rather miserable. You sense just being in the flagging hands eats away at one's spirit. Only the Emptizo seems affected. Unaffected. Most of your exiles lost minus one hope for the next right. Jesus. Rough. Suffer alongside them. A moment, reader. There are several courses we may take through flagging hands. If you choose to prolong your stay, it may be worth your while. However, your companion's spirits shall likely suffer more. Oof, this is rough. Mallow field. Improve a talisman. This faster route will reduce companions lost of hope. You can get a valuable item if you take a job here. Yeah, I mean, we're going to take one job and not take both. I think we're going to... We're going to risk it a little bit, but not too hard. I think that's the strategy here. Hope's not that important of a stat, after all. The north route through flagging hands is dismal beyond reckoning. There is little talk among your group, yet you sense despair encroaching. Only Tizo seems unaffected. Most of your exiles lost another minus one hope. Suffer alongside them. Later, you accompany the lone minstrel in pursuit of his task here. Speak not directly to the living shade, and be true to your heart when responding to its inquiries and make no attempt to look it in the eye. The Lone Minstrel offers these and other words of advice as you approach the burial mounds of Cold Moat, where many exiles of the downside see their final days. A glimmer of a shade appears before you as you stand surrounded by the dead, yet you barely see it, and it does not speak, but you feel its thoughts piercing your heart and mind. According to the shade, the book that you possess may lay some of the fallen here to rest. The shade leaves you to your work, you turn through the book, locating passages concerning freedom and the spirit. You recite such words as seem best to fit each of the fallen you see. It is draining work. The shade resurfaces after a while. It leads you to a hollowed stump, then fades away. You found a Nux room. All right, so it's worth 50. Decent. We should fucking leave. I don't want to upgrade talent. Oh, okay, so we can't do both anyway. By the time you reach the pit of Milithae, Everyone besides the empty Zoe seems to be feeling even worse than before. You sense the desire to leave this place as soon as possible. So they were going to lose two anyway, so really we only increased the severity by like 50%, which is not too bad. Let's hit the slug market. Oh, hey, you guys. You know, this place, a lot of flo folks around, but not a lot of customers know what I mean. So uh, have a look around. You can be yourself. That's cool, man. Alright, well, let's uh, sell the Nox Shroom. Uh, we should buy the Dash of Stardust. Uh, grants the Bearer plus two's presence. Bearer plus two hope. Move faster than usual. Deals two damage more. Okay, um, yeah, the only one of these I care about is this, so we're just gonna skip. Um, we'll go level up the lucrative contract, I think. So. We can get up to 14 money back per right now by having Hedwin just beat ass on people. Uh, thank, thanks for stopping by, guys. Let's hit the black wagon, check out the book. Hmm. The Empire's Collapse and the words of Gol Gol... I always fuck this name up. The Empire's Collapse and the words of Gol Golathanian, the Master General. It was not long before the Empire began to crumble. With my liege gone, his own country quickly turned upon itself. I must admit that this collapse had started long before the Emperor's disappearance. His decision to give chase after a myth but hastened the inevitable. All the while, the rope caller stood by, awaiting such a time as he could rule in my liege's stead. He would be our people's savior. His first charge was to organize a search for the missing Solium Myrrh. Warriors, pathfinders, and scholars heard the call and prepared to seek him out. It says we've got two new pages, though. Is this also a new page? No. Okay, so that's actually not new pages. Um, don't have any these. What's on your mind, Sandra? 
Are you sloshing all the way across the flagging hands right now? A hideous place, or so I understand, for I can neither see nor see it, nor experience its wondrous aroma, as surely you can. Although perhaps you are accustomed to it now. The Nightwings of the past mislike the place, of that I can assure you. We share a common misery. Now please lead me to mine, unless there is a service you require me to render at this time. He's for Sandra, man. So bad for her. Looks like Ruki wants to speak. You find Ruki rummaging in the corner of the black wagon. Hey, sister. You know what? It's good having somebody else around besides those two. So, come to think of it, there's something I wanted to get your take on, and you have to promise to tell me honestly. Uh, Would you say... This, uh, what I mean is, um... Mm. He hesitates, trying to find the words. <laughs> ah, look, what I'm trying to say is... Uh, uh, you sense something serious is troubling him. Uh, he moves in very close, making sure no one else has an earshot. It's about my mustache. I've been getting some conflicting reports about it. Would you say my mustache? That it makes me look a bit, you know, Sefam. unscrupulous? Oh dear. I think it looks great. You suggest that Ruki's mustache looks perfectly fine. He grins wide at you. Hey, I couldn't agree more, sister. I knew straight away that you're a real judge of character. Anyway, I gotta check the wheels again for mites. See you around. He bounds off out of the wagon. All right, so he regained some of his hope. That's kind of cool. Looks like that. What? That's what we got. So uh, let's fucking go. As you make preparations for the coming ride, you wonder if the stars above will even be visible through the dense fog hanging over the pent of Milithy. Then, <laughs> he's very concerned by something in the vicinity. The little imp disappears in a hurry. Oh. Is Tizo all right? He was so frightened. He was not frightened. He was issuing a warning. Silence, everyone. Take cover. Godario makes quick note of several hiding places among the nearby crags and rotted husks. You wait. Something about the place dampens your senses. All you feel is a creeping dread. Then from the shadows, a writhing shape slides forward, its hulking form draped in raiments. The shape stops. Slowly, its head turns from one of you to the next, each in turn. Wise of ye to hide yourselves from us, little night wings. Ye trespass on the resting place of the astral born. We shall see ye when the stars muster the courage to illuminate this place. The creature vanishes into the dark. After a time, your companions reconvene. That was a bog crone. Serpentine creatures native to the Commonwealth's southern bogs, widely feared. Indeed, that was Witch Udmilhi of the Withdrawn, which is a triumph of bog drawlers, compelled by sinister forces rather than freedom. Harum. He does not like Udmilhi. Although the rights dictate she cannot harm you bodily, with her best not to take unnecessary chances. We'll take what chances we can get in all of this. Everyone, it's time. Ooh. Damn. This game this game just keeps you on your fucking toes, dude, for real. Oh man. It's go time. Gain enlightenment after every right whether they prevail or not. The only failure is to trail to stray from the path. Why you made it? Yes, I fucking made it. Where would you think made I was it all the way to the detestable pit of Milith. Milith. Okay, it's not Milith. so, of course. You have disturbed your ancient adversaries, the withdrawn. Okay, so these guys don't like the, the Nightwings. Drained, That's the witch who leads them has big plans in store. Okay, so we just Should absolutely cannot let them win no matter what. Because fuck her. Now, as you know, I normally would wish you a shameful defeat. Why are you mean to me, dude? But in this case... Oh, okay. I wish you a little bit of luck. I mean, I appreciate that. The crone Eud Milhi sees your companions gathered by their pyre. A little flame as that shall never worm, worm thee here, much less survive the night. Hear us, see slack. Make the night wings suffer. Rookie trots forward from your ranks. Listen here, you old bag. 
You don't scare any of us one bit. You or your buddy is lack. Now are we doing this or what? Question hangs in the air for longer than is comfortable. It does seem to have drawn in Mealy's attention, however. Ah. Uh. Rookie begins to swor squirm a bit. Then Ood Milhi loses her cylinder fingers to her mask. Foolish. Yizlak shall grow. Yizlak shall grow. Yizlak shall grow. He shall consume ye. Ere your little flame has died, that we shall ensure. Ood Milhi slides off towards her followers. Rookie remains motionless for a time. Yes. Uh. Whoops. Who shall stand together here this night? We want Hedwin. He's our cannoneer, basically. Um, we want Jodariel. Jodariel. And we want... Let's let Rookie have some fucking fun. Rookie. He talks shit, let him it get hit. Done. Uh, you don't suppose that Chrome's got it out for me, do you? No matter where ye go, Yizlak shall find thee and devour thee. Your aura's all fucked up. That's cool. Alright. Begin. The night's first banishment. Yeah, we're just gonna have him sit here and whoop a bunch of ass so we can get some money. Awkward. Let's get one here. Boom. Boom. I'm not counting how many banishes I'm getting, so. The orb, take it. A true Bam, slam dunk. Thrust into the fire. Very nice. Oh, call. Damn, I'm out of here. Oh, jeez, she's power. Holy fuck, okay. A mere attempt. Damn. Get wrecked. Oof. Fuck, 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 No. Fuck out of here. About, man, united in banishment. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Edwin flung the orb into the flame. Slam dunk. We Your are doing fine. Nobody fucking question it. For the while. Hmm. We're earning points for these. Hmm? Got it. it. Wasn't full points, unfortunately. But still good. Good stuff. Did you miss? Oh. oh no, I did. I, not only did I miss, they did not miss. Ooh. Weird. Out with the, the structure. Nice. Oh, cool. It actually gives you a very obvious. I will take this orb while you're trying to kill my friends. Ah, damn, didn't quite get it. Oh shit, Jadariel. Well, guess we uh, just lose this one. Stand not in glory's path. Damn. 
All right, this this is the this is the round where it gets tougher, I guess. Be gone, Joe Dario. Yeah. I mean, it means I have to play around here. The lifeblood of Islak, it flows within his lair, and beneath this world, his lifeblood, it shall engulf thee in such blackness and despair. Oh, fuck. That's bad. Do I need to jump those? Is that like, what's going the witch on? invokes a profane name, I shall repeat. Oh, okay, so there's a lot of shots, I guess. Goodbye, Joe Dario. I'm quite foul for the ah, damn. Wings. Man, the hope the hope penalty ended up being way more impactful than I thought it would. Oh my god, I didn't realize I had it. That's really awkward. I actually didn't realize I fucking had it. That sucks. Somebody get the orb. Uh, the, the way you bounce around is actually pretty frustrating. I don't really like it that much. You did your jump, and I got my points. All right, so we need two more scores. Be gone. God damn it! It's frustrating how she can like knock you up from off screen. No, we're cool. We don't, we don't want any. Thanks. Goodbye, headwind. What the fuck, man? This is hard. This the difficulty spike is real. Like it got much harder very quickly. Are you serious? What? Oh no! I don't want the fucking cast the aura. I want to fucking shoot these guys and kill them. Oh my fucking god. Wait, who has the orb? What? Now to the flame. Oh, come on. That little knock up effect is like ridiculously obnoxious. There we go. 
magnificent. All right, now, now literally any damage will win. That's all you, Rookie. Turn of events. Yeah, I got it. And it is done. For once, our knockoff actually benefited me. The night wings once again prevail. Yeah, we do. So how they about you fucking deal with it? Their adversaries without too much trouble. Yeah, that's the worst I've done so far, by far. Thus end this night's yeah. proceedings. That was like a lot harder. Nice work, everyone. Never thought I'd have to stand against a bog dweller. Would seem our adversaries failed to unnerve us. See? Yeah, those bog dwellers, they're just a bunch of hissy talk. Yes, Lack. Yes, Lack. We have failed thee, and the deeds shall be repaid in blood. As for ye, fools. Ye shall be consumed, and everything around ye, from the soil to the stars, ye shall see. Okay, man. Cool, dude. See ya. Please don't ever talk to me again. Woo! Jodariel walks further Rank three, huh? Focus, training, prowess. The path towards survival on the blood border. These rites make similar demands of us. Alright, uh, plus four presents. I think we wanted the... Yeah, I think we wanted the plus four presents so she could be our backliner. Rookie got to come, so he got it to cash in all that inspiration. Opened up his <laughs> See that, chumps? Oh, old Rookie Greentail's got some bite in him yet. Um. Oh, well, that's obviously what I want. Hmm. Oh, well, that's insane. A blessing wow. from the Alpha Chief himself. It's ridiculously good. All right. Fantastic. Until the stars. Alright, this this align. is a bit of a long episode, so hope you enjoyed it. We're gonna go ahead and uh, call it right there. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you next time on Let's Play Pixel Pals. See ya!